So I'm free-handing the uh, camera today, so excuse the shakiness. But um, here's a half-size drawing of the uh, chest. And uh, as you can see, there's a large group of drawers. And I wanted the grain to match as best I could. So I uh, was trying to get them all out of one board. So we'll go out in the wood storage area here. And uh, this is one cherry board that I bought uh, from the, the set that I've been making the, uh, the chest uh, out of. And um, so it's all from the same tree. So you're hopefully uh, the color and uh, the grain should be similar since these boards are sliced one on top of each other. But I can't get it all out of it. So here's, here's two drawer uh, fronts there. Another two drawer fronts here, and this is the, the three that are on top. So all, uh, all of that, the top chest drawers come from this board. And I almost could get the bottom ones out of it. I could get the, that right there would be enough for the uh, long bottom drawer, but then I don't have enough for the three. So what I decided to do was uh, take another board and then on the lower part of the chest, uh, the uh, four drawers that are there will come from from this board. Again, it's all from the same tree, so uh, it should uh, match in color. And uh, the sets of drawers fronts that are on top of each other should match. Well, I started making the drawer fronts on the for the lower chest first. And uh, I milled up the stock, they're seven eighths of an inch thick. And I've added a uh, quarter inch round over uh, with a fillet uh, around all the edges there. Uh, these are lip drawers. And uh, I'm happy with the uh, grain on all but uh, the center one. So um, I may, uh, I'm gonna let it set overnight and look at it again tomorrow and see if I'm still unhappy with it. And, if so, I'll have to change it out and, and find a different piece. So it's only cherry. I remade the uh, center uh, lower drawer today uh, and I like the grain better on this one. So they seem to match pretty well across uh, the three. So uh, I think we got a winner on the lower uh, drawer fronts here. So now to work on the upper drawer fronts. Well, I have the upper uh, chest uh, drawers fitted now. so. Uh, We've got lots of drawer fronts. Uh. So I think uh, what I'm going to do next is start uh, making the milling the pine stock for the uh, sides and the back and the bottoms. So uh, that's going to take uh, quite a bit of uh, pine. So uh, hopefully I got enough. Well, I milled all the stock for the drawers. So we've got uh, the drawer fronts, the sides, and the backs in pine. The fronts, of course, were in, uh, in cherry. So now all I do is need to do a whole bunch of dovetailing. And, uh, and then, of course, lastly, we'll have to put in some bottoms. Well, I've got uh, two of the drawers uh, finished. Uh, is at least as far as the sides and the back go. Uh, the bottoms will be uh, later. And uh, I have a photograph of uh, what the dovetails look like on the original chest at Yale. So I'm following that uh, pattern. They are not fancy dovetails. Um, let's see if we can see. Very practical, like a Connecticut woodworker would be. And there's a, a set on the side there. So I'm working on the uh, lower drawer, that one right there at the moment. 
And so as each drawer changes size, let's see if we can, you have to vary the uh, size of the tails to end up with uh, pretty even spacing. In this particular case, uh, this is, uh, I think, about a seven inch drawer. And uh, so this is, these are an inch here. Uh, now those, those over there on that smaller drawer were uh, three quarters, I think. So um, you need to try to get them to come out uh, even spacing. All my uh, pins are the same size, always a quarter inch at the top here. And then this is the same size on all of them, which is uh, 9 16 plus a little more, about 30 second over that. Uh, to leave room for a groove and then the bottom so this these are always the bottoms and these are always this is always the top so uh, then it's just a matter of sawing them out and the pine is particularly soft and you can see I've got a used a marking uh, gauge here to put the groove on so we got more to do well I'm chopping out the the dovetails now that I you saw me just saw there and uh, I've done this side so I got them halfway through or about halfway through and uh, I always do them this, the same way. It's not particularly fast, but uh, seems to work for me. I always uh, angle the chisel in inward a little bit so that it, on both sides, so that it creates a sl slope towards the center um, as long as the edges are correct. Also uh, leaves a little space for glue, glue in there, but mostly it's so that the edges are crisp. And this pine is so soft that it doesn't take much effort to And that's it. And then there's little fuzzies in there that I'll pair off. And now for the other side. So now I trace the uh, tails onto the pins here or onto this faceboard like so and uh, I've got them already traced down there as you can see and I've marked out where the waist is and then you always want to cut on the waist side of the line leaving the line And you can't help but cut uh, into this area uh, doing a half blind uh, dovetail here and got to be careful not to hit the lip. And that's as close as we can get with that one. So uh, I'll cut all along here and then we'll chop them out shortly. 
Well, after chopping out the sets of dovetails, um, you know, if you do it carefully and saw on the right side of the line, it's just a matter of matching them up. And they uh, fit in there pretty good. We'll see what the other side looks like. pretty tight. So now we just got to snap in the front here. So we're just putting these in the front. Now they've been in before so I'm pretty sure they're gonna gonna fit. Here we have it. One more drawer done, one more to go. Well, at this point, uh, I'm done making the drawer frames. I've uh, dovetailed them, the sides and the back, into uh, all of the fronts and uh, slid them into the uh, openings there. Final fitting will be done after I put in the bottoms and, and glue them up. So, uh, also, you can notice that uh, I uh, finally got around to gluing up the lattice to the uh, gooseneck moldings on the top, so that's setting up right now. So that's pretty much it for the drawers. I've got to uh, mill a whole bunch of uh, pine stock for the bottoms at this point, uh, probably just under a half inch thick, and then uh, glue up those panels uh, to fit in the quarter inch groove along the bottom. But uh, that's, uh, that's the next step.